Today, we're going to see if this stylish, rugged, water-resistant bag by Peak Design can actually survive the elements. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're doing this. What's up guys, my name is Mike and welcome back to my channel. This is the Everyday 5 Liter Sling by Peak Design. And I've been using it for around a week now and there's a lot to be said about this tiny little bag. So full disclosure, I didn't get paid to make this video. This is purely my own opinion. So in this review, I'll reveal all the strengths and all the flaws so that you can see if this is the right bag for you. Right off the bat, you can see that this bag is very well built with a minimalistic look to it. I love how the bag doesn't look like a camera bag because most traditional camera bags are quite ugly and attract unwanted attention. Thieves know that there's expensive stuff in the camera bag and you're flagged as a target. Well, maybe I'm just paranoid, but that's just how I feel. But besides that, this bag also has a unisex look to it. My girlfriend can wear it, I can wear it. It looks great on the both of us and that's how I get her to carry my stuff actually. So. That's a pro right there. Besides its good looks, it's actually designed to protect your gear from the elements with the water resistant cloth and zippers. But the question is, does it actually work? So I've done some tests by pouring water on it and as you can see it's beading off of the cloth and it slides right off the bag. But just to take it a bit further, I decided to spray it with the hose. Oh, there, that's good, that's good. oh it's more on me than <laughs> it reflected onto me, buddy. So I hope that was worth the test. So I actually put a shirt in here, a gray shirt. We're gonna see if it is wet now. Oh, as you can see, it's not as waterproof as I thought it would be. Actually, we did soak it pretty bad. The water seemed to get through these cracks here. Oh, that's not good, my battery's here. You see, it's only a little bit on the top over here that got water and on the sides, mostly from the front. And on the inside, it looks pretty nice. Not bad that there's a little water stain there. And from this front pocket, I put napkins in here. So we're gonna see if they're soaked. Oh yeah, they're soaked. They're so soaked. Cause these are not waterproof zippers at all. It's pretty soaked. So that's the soak test. Let's get back into the studio. Okay, welcome back. So I do have to say that I kind of sprayed it in the area where it wasn't water protected. And if you do wear it in the rain, water does contact the top first and slides right down to the bottom where it misses this part so that water won't get in. So if you're caught in the rain, you should be fine with this as long as you don't go swimming or spray it with a hose like I did. So moving on, it also feels very premium with aluminum buckles, zipper pulls, nylon straps, shoulder paddings, aluminum mount on the end of the straps to adjust to the way you move. And how can we forget about the leather accents. It's a very nice touch, Peak Design. All those nice things were actually taken from the 10 liter bag. I've been using this bag for over a year now. I use the zipper pulls and the nylon straps pretty harsh and it still looks brand new. So I can definitely say the same thing for the 5 liter bag. Did I mention that it also comes with a lifetime guarantee? Well, not to be too biased here, but if you're worried about build quality and if it's gonna break on you, you don't have to worry at all. Well, at least I I don't. <laughs> so besides that little water incident, I couldn't really find any other flaws about this bag. So let's move on to the three main reasons why I love to use this as my everyday carry bag. First of all, it was very comfortable for me to carry this around with me on my back the whole day. And I mean, I suffer from lower back pain a lot. So when I say it's comfortable, it's legit. Also, when you do feel a bit tired, you can take the stress off your shoulder and your back by converting it into a fanny pack. Yes, that's right, a fanny pack. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, and to convert it into a hip pack, you simply just take that buckle off of the strap, put the strap inside this little compartment behind the bag, and then put the bag around your waist and reattach the buckle onto the strap, and BAM! You have a hip pack! So you can wear it this in the front or in the back. It looks very good and stylish, and it sits very well on either side, but in the front, it's very accessible. You can open it just like BAM to get whatever you want. In my case, it's always a camera. And if you're done with it, switch it back. That's all there is to it. So for those who aren't fans of fanny packs, <laughs> I see what you did there. I can say that it feels more comfortable as a shoulder bag. The second thing is that this bag is actually really convenient and really accessible. So this is the quick access strap and it's one of the most useful features of the bag. All you need to do is put your thumb in it, pull it forward, and then simply pull your bag to the front to get access to it. So although this bag might look like a very small bag, it can fit quite a lot. And as you can see inside the bag, there's just so many ways you can organize this bag. It comes with these things called flexifolds where you can pull them in and out. You can actually fold it flat to the side so that you can make a bigger area for if you're carrying a small umbrella, a water bottle or anything that's a bit bigger even a book 
And in the back here, you see that there's a flat compartment. It's great for putting an iPad mini, or you can put your passport or other important documents in the section so that it will not be easily accessed by other people. And it has a magnetic closure, which is a very, very nice touch. Oh, that magnetic sound. So addicting. Anyways, in the front, you see that you have another compartment for flat things or little things that you need to get access to really quickly. In this case, I usually put my portable battery pack in here or my sunglasses or my utility knife or, that's right, tissues. And another very useful feature is that they actually have a capture clip compatibility part right here where you put on the capture clip so that you can hold your camera when you need your hands. And this is only on one side of it because on the other side you can see there's another very nice leather accent with peak design on it. It would have been nice if I could have clipped it on here too so I can switch shoulders but uh, it is what it is. And on to the third and very last reason, this bag makes me feel very secured when I'm traveling. Because when I'm commuting and when I'm going the bus, I use that quick access strap to quickly put my bag right in front of me so that I know that no one's touching my bag today but me. And also when I'm eating and there's nowhere to put my bag where that I can see, I actually turn it into a fanny pack and secure it on my back so that I know that it's right there with me. And the last safety feature is that these zipper pulls right here, they don't just look good, they actually serve a purpose. So you can actually loop this zipper pull onto the zipper itself so that when other people pull on it, it cannot open your bag, adding an extra layer of protection. So in the end, this is really a bag where all style, functionality, and durability all comes together. I myself think it's great for commuters, people who are traveling, people who are exploring, and people who don't want to take their whole office with them. And if you're a person who carries only your essentials and want a lightweight bag for carrying all day, this is the bag for you. But if you want to carry a notebook, a laptop, a water bottle, and an umbrella, this isn't for you. You kind of need a backpack or messenger bag or just a bigger bag. That's it guys. That's all I have to say for this bag. I hope it helps. If you want to support my channel, use the links below, smash the like button, and subscribe to see my future bag videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye!